pot with BHP Billiton now walking away from pot ash and that 39 billion US dollar deal is off the table and BHP Billiton outperforming the JSE all share today closing up one and one third of a percent the JSE all share up just under that half a percent. Your thoughts are you one of those shareholders uh, running around thinking this is a good move um, from from BHP Billiton they should perhaps never have gone down this route in the first place. <laughs> uh, evening Bronwyn. Short on to know, I quite like the idea of the deal and, and the whole idea of moving into potash which is part of f food security and really going to be one of those big boom areas. You know, can commodities carry on booming forever? Short answer is no. I mean they can go on for a long time. I really like the deal. I think the problem was it leaked out and the share price went well above what the take up offer price was and then there were issues from regulators left, right and centre. Um, I, I thought it would have been a good deal to go through but with the Canadian government essentially nixing it and giving giving Billiton a, an appeal process, but a, an unlikely one they were going to succeed at. I think walking away was probably the better deal. Another question is, as you said, 39 billion US dollar deal, which they were mostly funding out of their own sort of back pocket in a sense. What are they doing with the money? It seems buybacks. There isn't much out there to, to be buying, it seems. Well, shareholders are going to demand something deals. at this stage and say, listen, give us that money that you're trying to, to use for corporate activity. You're too big to make any deals. Isn't that the reality? It absolutely is, and that's the problem when you become so completely massive. You know, they've got to do a deal of around that 40 odd billion mark. There's not a heck lot out there which is A, of that size, but B, that really fits the requirements that, that, that Morris Kloppers and shareholders would be wanting from it. So now the pressure is really on you're sitting with the cash. Small deals, frankly, not worth it. So what are you going to do with it? And you've got two options it's dividends and it's share buybacks. And most of these big companies move towards the share buyback. They reckon it's a more efficient process than dividends. I, I'm not convinced, but that will probably be where it's going to go. And of course, the sensational headlines across the media spectrum. Three times failed Marius Kloppers. Is his head on the chopping block? It is three times failed. I don't think it's a fair assessment. This was regulatory. The Rio Tinto deal, which they were trying to do, the joint venture in, in, in Australia, was regulatory. And uh, the Rio Tinto deal, which he tried to do at the top of the market, frankly, we all breathing a heavy sigh of relief that he didn't make that deal happen. Um, I'm not sure it's a fair brush to put on him, but it certainly is, I think, going to be his legacy. I don't think shareholders are necessarily going to be start chomping for his head. I think he can stay in there, but certainly, I think, in 10 years' time, it's going to be... Morris Klopp is the man who couldn't do the big deal. And then Simon, just going back to JD Group, having spoken in depth to Janine van Sale, retail analyst at Omegsa. JD closing at 55 Rand 40 today, up two and three quarters of a percent, outperforming the broader JSE all share, well outperforming the broader JSE all share. But Janine saying that analysts are divided as to whether this can actually be a recovery story and whether they can fix what is broken ultimately. Yeah, I mean, the numbers were really impressive and it, we need to put that tax payment back in um, because that really skewed them in their favour. But even in that case, numbers weren't bad. There, there's some issues there. I mean, broadly, I, I like JD, but I, I certainly wouldn't be. I would want to see another six months, perhaps even another 12 months. I suppose the answer is quite simply, why JD when you can go for Lewis, when you can go for others in the same space? And there's not many left. Uh, Ellerines went into the African bank stable, so they're no longer there. But if you're looking to buy something there, so Certainly, I would want to have a time out on JD, and if you don't want to wait, then I think, and I think the market's been saying it to a fair degree, they've been looking at Lewis rather. And then Netcare, we haven't touched on that. That company also out with results saying that headline earnings per share increased, basic headline earnings per share increased by 26.2%. How are you feeling about the healthcare environment at the moment? Obviously, this comes on the back of MediClinic's results recently. Yeah, healthcare always, you know, they kind of, they plot along in the tough times they do all right, when times get a bit better they, they pick up, uh, if nothing else, because you find people coming, sort of coming up through into their hospitals, in our case in South Africa, moving away from, from state hospitals in, into private hospital care. Uh, then the numbers, if you break it down into terms of, of bed nights and organic growth and the like, we're moving in the right direction. I, I, to me, it didn't shoot the likes out, and if I'm looking at healthcare, I prefer the pharmaceutical companies rather than the, than the, than the hospitals.